everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's going to be a short one. This is season 19, and this is war number three. And we're going up against an alliance called Malaysia Alpha. Uh, I did not get a lot of fights in, and I'll explain why, uh, what our strategy is uh, in these wars uh, towards the end of the video. All right, but I do get in here, and you'll notice that that middle in section one and the left side is already completed. Right side, untouched in section one. Middle, section two, also untouched. But we've got this section over here in uh, section three. Okay, so I was asked to, you know, jump in, not personally, but, you know, I'll explain how it works a little bit later. Uh, but you can see that most of this is already completed okay i'm zooming out here so you can see it and so i'm going over here to take that path right there and we do have some footage of jigner clearing off that path uh, and you'll see that after uh, my clear mine here all right so here are the nodes that we're going to be dealing with spite which i don't like but i figure i can deal with it now, in my previous videos, uh, someone asked a question or made a suggestion that I read the nodes uh, because he didn't see me read the nodes in this video. But I always read the nodes. You don't always see it, and I'm going to try to change that. Just like how I did here, I'm going to try to show the nodes. But before I ever go in here, before I decide to come in there with the team, I've already read the nodes. We've already discussed it, you know, maybe who's a good option for that particular fight, all of that. All right, so you can see here, I basically ignored the spike for the most part. I tried to slow play it a little bit, and then I just rushed and got her in the end. You know, she got her special three, but it was a little too late. All right, so down goes Rogue. Didn't have too much difficulty there. Next up, we've got Symbiote Supreme. Now, Symbiote Supreme, uh, he's not that bad to fight, especially if you don't have a lot of um, debuffs on you, or buffs on you, rather, uh, because he will uh, dispel them and do damage to you. So I'm going in here with Warlock, okay? And as you can see, he's got a little power gain but nothing that uh, Warlock can't handle here. All right, and one of the things that I like about fighting Symbiote Supreme, same thing with Doctor Strange as well, is they don't gain power, you know, or in his case, not a lot of power normally. They have a passive power gain, uh, Doctor Strange does, and that's all he has. Symbiote Supreme has a passive power gain, but he also has a little bit of a power gain when he's hitting. But I can basically go all out when I fight uh, Symbiote Supreme. As long as I don't go in there with someone that has a lot of buffs on them. All right. So he went down as well pretty easily. And that was my path. Okay. You can see that uh, the other is not cleared yet. So now in a minute, we're going to switch over and we will see Jigner uh, in a moment here. There we go. All right, so he's got to fight this Annihilus. And you can see the team that he's going in there with. He's got Blade, he's got Ghost Rider, Synergy for uh, fighting villains, all right? And he's gonna take him out with Blade. Uh, he loves Blade. Blade is still very strong in 2020. And as you can see, he brings Blade to war. Uh, there's a little teasing, of course, uh, good-naturedly, uh, with some others about him still using Blade, but you cannot argue with the results. Blade is still awesome. Okay? Oh, we got hit there a little bit. All right, but of course with Blade, it's not that much of a problem because Blade can heal right on up. Okay, and there we go. Now, what he did there was similar to uh, what I did, you know, we basically slow played it and then we just go rush. We don't worry about the special three and we finish them off. 
All right, so we'll be back a little bit and I will show you how we did and then I'll explain a little bit about how we're approaching war uh, going forward, at least for this season. And we're back and surprise, surprise, we won this war. As you can see, they only took down one of our bosses. We got down all three bosses. That is our goal for this season. We will let others spend their, you know, items and we're not going to do that. All right. So I promise to explain uh, why I have such a small participation sometimes or why I'm joining late. Someone asked that question, uh, you know, how, how did you join the war and you only had like three hours to go and things like that. So here's what we're doing. There's no assigned lanes. It's first come, first serve. So you have people that are loving war. OK, they usually jump in first. So what we do is we have three or four people jump in. And they basically rush the boss. Uh, we look and we see which looks easier, you know, which sections look easiest. And those go in and they try to go all the way to the boss. If they can go to the boss and finish the boss off, then the rest of us, which are on backup, can jump in and uh, we can basically explore as much as possible. Once the boss is down, we can explore however we like. All right. But what we're doing is we're waiting for them to go ahead and go as far as they can. And if they get stuck, then the call will go out, you know, hey, we need somebody um, to help out uh, on this path. Like in one war, uh, they got stuck on uh, this one path, path one, in section uh, two, I believe. And so they were like, you know, double up, triple up on that path, get it done. So I jumped in, joined in, and went over there and did that. In this war, same thing, which is why you saw that the left side was done. Uh, they had the middle cleared as well. Um, and we decided to get that right side, but there was one path left. So they were like, we need someone uh, on that path. So I went ahead and jumped in, went over there. I had already looked at the nodes and everything and was like, okay, my team looks like they're going to be pretty good for this. And I went over there, cleared the path, and then Jigner went in, cleared it all the way around. Okay. And that's how we do it. Now, there might be some wars where I jump in early and start off, you know, like if it looks you know, like I can handle it with my team pretty easily. And uh, I don't, you know, I don't wait too long because others will jump in before I do. Then I'll jump in and we'll do, you know, as far as we can go. But it's no secret that I don't like war. And these nodes, they're going to be toned down. But I don't like war. But I do it because, you know, of the rewards. And there are people who actually do like war and they find this challenging. So why not let them go ahead and do that and have us on backup? So that's our plan going forward. The only thing required is we need to get the boss down, no matter what. Uh, there was one war, I didn't record it, uh, that we just threw ourselves at that boss, revived, fight again, revive, fight again. We took turns and finally got the boss down. But we don't have to use items. You'll notice that I don't usually boost or anything like that. Uh, because like I said, we're not trying to push in this war. Um, I think right now we're probably at gold one. Uh, if you can see our tier, uh, when I started uh, this season, we were tier four. Now we're tier five. And we don't care. We're not trying to uh, play at that level, not with the way things stand right now. All right. But that's how we are approaching war. So uh, in future videos, uh, you'll be aware. That's why 
Sometimes they'll be short. I'm going to try to include footage from uh, my other teammates like Jigner. Uh, he usually records it and then he'll send it to me. So we'll have, you know, some more footage, uh, war footage and different fights as well. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Uh, I'll also try to show the nodes a little bit more because uh, I know there was a question in one of my previous videos. Someone was asking me, um, you know, they were they were making a suggestion that I read the nodes, but I just didn't show the nodes. And that made me think, you know what, for the video, I need to show the nodes. All right. So even though before I jump in, I've already looked at the nodes, looked at the fight and made my decision there. I just don't include it on the video. Well, I'm going to start showing the nodes before I do the fight so that you guys can at least see uh, what I'm dealing with. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.